Hi, I'm Matthew Tosh. This is another junk food science lesson based on the spoof television news report about a proposed ban on under 16s eating certain foods. It uses role play, which can be a valuable way of enabling students to discuss scientific issues in a balanced way, as well as promoting cross curricular learning and helping to develop speaking and listening skills. In this class, you'll see pupils taking on the roles of different characters and scripting their own news item based on the one seen in the Junk Food Science News Report lesson. You can find the News Report video and many other resources to help deliver this lesson at the address on the screen. Here, Claire Caulfield and Alison Clough from St Bennett's Roman Catholic Primary School in County Durham team teach the lesson to a group of Year 5 pupils. You'll see them go through all five phases of the active teaching and learning process. Preparation, briefing, action, debriefing and follow-up. The report will be based around the BIEC's proposal of banning the sale of certain foods to under 16s and their parents being fined £1,000 if they buy their children these foods. As part of the preparation, Claire and Alison arrange pupils into mixed ability groups of four or five and allocate roles to each member of the group. Group three, Katie, interview with. Okay, Luke, the child. Kane, camera person. It's important to think about your abilities within the classroom when you are doing role play to make sure that there is some more able and less able together just to kind of keep it running and keep it flowing at a good, good pace. They brief the children by introducing the role play, the news report and the writing frame for preparing their scripts. And they outline the criteria for producing a good news report. The children are given time to discuss ideas and plan their news report. They have to identify what will happen at each stage and write a script for each role. Setting a time limit of about 20 to 30 minutes for this would be a good idea. Does anyone have any other keywords? Got that one. Got healthy, unhealthy, obesity, and balanced diet. Put over 20 grain with the sports. So you've got two questions there. You're asking all of your guests the same questions. Yes, yeah, like to see if they've got like different, different like answers to them. It's excellent. Are you putting any facts in your report? Yeah. Why do you want to include some facts? It's so, like people know more about. It. To give them a little bit more yeah. information. Excellent. Well done. Good. When they finish planning, pupils rehearse their role plays. In this lesson, the pupils film their news reports and the videos are shown to everyone. Of course, it's fine if you don't have cameras. The pupils can perform their role plays to the rest of the class. Ready, steady, go. Hello and welcome to the six o'clock news. Breaking news, the BI the BIEC are banning under 16s from eating junk food. Earlier today, I spoke to a parent from St Ricky's. Hello, what do you think about the ban? I think the ban should not go on because we all need sugars in our diet. Even though healthy diets are good, we still need sugars. Do you think it's right if the parents get fined if they feed the ch their children junk food? I think the parents should get fined because it might sacrifice the children's life because if they eat too much they might get a heart disease or liver disease. Thank you. That's it for tonight. Over to Mr Proctor for the weather. There's a debriefing about the ideas expressed in the videos and about the way each news report was put together. What did you like about your news report, Sam? That we work together, plus Scott used very good um, words in his speech and... That was going to be my yeah. next question. What scientific vocabulary was used in that news report? Was it all the, like, kidney and liver diseases and organs? Yeah, you mentioned about what would happen if you didn't eat the right kind, the balanced diet, didn't you? So well done, you brought in that scientific vocabulary there. OK, excellent, well done. <laughs> The activity could be followed up by pupils writing a newspaper article or a blog about the proposed ban. I thought they were really enthusiastic about the role play. A lot of them love drama and maybe that's... I found it was a lot of their place to shine, you know, children that aren't always the best writers and 
readers and things like that, they, you know, something like that was really good for them. The children definitely enjoyed it. I think the fact that they got to have ownership of the lesson, um, they got to decide what they wanted to say within the news report was really, really good. I think it was really important within the lesson as well to split it up into the planning time, giving them the opportunity to think together what they wanted to say, then giving them some time to practice it before actually going off to film. But it went really, really well and they seemed really enthusiastic towards it.